All right, guys, today is the day. We're not even going to go right into an intro because I want to get into building and finishing the tri pacer. Let's get into it. So, what you're looking at here is a large piece of PETG. Now, I have small pieces that I use for vacuum forming, they're 12 inches by 12 inches. A uh, little size reference. That's 12 inches. So obviously that wasn't gonna be big enough for the windshield. Now, what I've done with the windshield is, um, given that I modified it, rebuilt it a little bit, I took the existing one that's all cracked and yellowed and awful, and I drew a proper center line. The original center line was not exactly perpendicular to this line, which I was using as my reference. And with how the holes were lining up, it just wasn't exactly square. So I drew a new reference line and I did some trimming and that was for the maiden flight. One side was not exactly as well fit as the other. So with that center line, I was able to transfer it to this piece of paper and then I flipped it over and traced it again. So this is a complete mirror image and I ended up having to add some pieces to this um, just so that I'd get a little bit better fit, a little bit more snug, and uh, you can see the difference between that one side and the material that should have been added back. Again, a little bit better alignment along this edge with the airplane. So with all that said, I'm going to get right into the time lapse. I'm going to trace this. I'm going to cut it out and then I'm going to fit it to the fuselage and you're going to see the paint on the fuselage which is kind of exciting because I haven't shown that yet but uh, I'm going to show me fitting it to the fuselage and then we're going to get the airplane put together and show you the final product. Let's get into it. I know, I know, it's done, it's done. Are you gonna help? No? Oh, oh well, nice to have you anyway. Well, here we are. We have a completed windscreen. All right, so I'm gonna talk over the cat. Um, <clears throat> so the windscreen at the leading edge is just a friction fit. And the reason why I did the template was because I wanted this to get right. So I went through the template many times to make sure that this would fit right. And it does all the way around, all the way around. So then up here, <clears throat> this bend, this bend is uh, because uh, of this bend, you want to make sure that there's a screw here to hold it down. Otherwise, it'll bubble up. I noticed that when I test fit the original cowl or sorry, the original uh, windshield and it was bubbling up. So you got to have that in order to get this tight radius and this bend right here. But other than that, man, I am stoked with that little bit of paint chipping little bit of rash here and there you know this is great so just real quick talking about the paint looking at it real close when the paint was still green and by green I mean a little bit not cured so this is like four hours three hours after I had applied the tape and or applied the paint and removed the masking tape I went over with masking tape on top of it and then ripped it off and what that did was remove a little bit of the paint and chipping and that's going to give it a bit of a weathered look and I really like how it turned out and obviously less chipping on the cowl because the cowl would have been metal well it is metal 
so it's not going to be as prone to the chipping as it would be on the fabric covering. So from here, uh, other things that I've done, um, the battery uh, area now has Velcro secured with Gorilla Glue and I've left the receiver in that location. It's pretty good and solid. Oh, and I put in a couple of screws there because I was worried about the door. I'll do some touch up paint there from where the Velcro was originally. Uh, those holes are going to be there because they tell a story. They tell a story about where this has been. So before I give this to Patrick, the last thing I'm going to do. So all of the markings in here from all the dates, you know, the 1997 date, I am going to put my sticker signature and date right there so that I mark my part on this rebuild, this fantastic model. Uh, other things of note before I put this together and show it to you again. Yes, I did a little bit of fun detail. These uh, vent plugs do come out. They are foam. Uh, take this one out just to show you. So it's just a little bit of foam rubber that you would normally use for like padding for a glow motor. And I covered it Oratex and because the Oratex has the adhesive that would stick and then I painted that and then a little piece of 64th inch ply and some ribbon poked through with a needle. Easy as that. And then on the tail, uh, so Patrick's plane, uh, because the trim is on the stabilizer, when the airplane is grounded, there's these little plates that slide in that are red that you remove before flight. Well, I did something similar. Uh, I noticed that in transport, the elevator wanted to sag and the rudder would move too, just because these are big control surfaces. So I went ahead and made these uh, little stops to hold all the control surfaces steady and they can be removed before flight and they are painted red as well. Just balsa, just balsa, a uh, little bit of the, this plate is ply. But that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. All right, guys, so I am done. I'm done building. Uh, I'm calling it. <laughs> um, lots of things that I could consider doing more on this, um, mainly like the, the like mud flap or whatever that's over the, the nose gear, uh, as well as some interior cockpit details. Not going to do that. This airplane is built to be enjoyed and I want Patrick to enjoy it and not have to worry too much about crashing it or repairing things that could get loose or broken in the future. And it's bare bones and I expect him to fly the snot out of this airplane. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to put it together, see what it looks like. First time I've done it since it's out of paint. I've been waiting two weeks, two weeks. I've been waiting for this plastic to get in. And, you know, it was two day shipping and it ended up being two weeks. Sometimes this just happens, but, you know, be patient with the postal service. So let's get this put together and see how she looks. Well, here she is. Do a little walk around here. Just had a little rainstorm pass through and the sun came out. Just so I could take this video and some pictures. I think she turned out fantastic. My shadow is pretty great, huh? I am very pleased with that. Very, very pleased. So the battery hatch does open pretty easily. Uh, oh, and I put in a little string here so that when the door is open, the uh, string can catch on the latch for the door and keep it open so you can load the battery. Just something simple. Oh, that windshield looks just amazing compared to that yellowed one. Looks like a brand new model now. I love the shine off of the paint. It's not like a perfect, perfect gloss. It's almost matted. And uh, 
you have the weathering like from the side you kind of see this and get up close you're like oh yeah a little bit of a little bit of paint chipping off of that oh i'm just loving it Even from the from the back, she looks square. Oh, beautiful airplane. People should make more of these. It's got to be a foamy out there somewhere that would be fantastic. All you hobby companies should take note. Such a beautiful airplane. Well, that's gonna do it for this project. Um, the uh, the tri-pacer is done, and uh, I'm pretty stoked about that. And, you know, I'm in my backyard, <laughs> what can I say? And, uh, you know, it's a peaceful place to be and a great place to have the conclusion of a project uh next up we're gonna get some more flight video and we're gonna get to see this thing in the air in all of the colors it's gonna be great i'm gonna learn how to land it better <laughs> that way i can get some better notes for patrick um and i think most of all uh i think all of you guys want to see patrick's reaction in person so he's seen the project i send him pictures and updates so it's not like it's a big mystery and uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna get the airplane out of his, uh, his field with the real airplane, and we'll have a little chat about it too. And it'll be good fun. Beautiful airplane for a nice friend who has been very good to me over the years. And I couldn't have done it for a better person. So until next time, take your flying work of art and make it mean something. Make it art, make it truly a work of flying art.